I have been going through this hair journey. I actually made a whole video. Um, I got baptized earlier this year. I don't know if I've ever shared that um, publicly. I haven't posted it or talked about it, but the day I got baptized was the day I shaved my head back down, my hair back down, excuse me. And um, I've, oh, I've had finger waves, but I've never had a fade like this. Like, y'all, I went into the barber shop. Do you hear me? I was like, give me a number two. Give me the Boosie fade. It's like, Boosie got more hair than me. The Boosie fade. He got hair at the top. My hair is gone. Do you hear me? I loved it, though. I bleached it blonde. I have a little picture pop up. So cute and sexy and just like, I loved it. I love waking up and going. And it's just so easy breezy, right? I was like, I want to do everything. Get get it all out while my hair is short because I don't want to grow my hair out again and then shave it. But then I had this like moment. I'm like, why not? I get so attached to the end goal that I don't appreciate the journey sometimes. I get so obsessed with this end goal of arenas, headlining, stand-up special, movies, production, number one podcast, this, that. Braylon, enjoy the journey, the people you come across, the lessons you learn, the trauma you've healed, the growth you've had. Sometimes we get so obsessed with the end goal that we don't enjoy the journey. And I started bringing that back to my hair. I was like, so what if I grow my hair out down my back for five years, three years, two years and shave it off again? So what? Why are you so attached to the end goal that You are obsessing over, well, let let me just get it all out the way now because I don't ever, relax. Be where your feet are. And I, I think, I was like, you know what? If I can't shave my head down to a fade, like you're so attached to this idea of, and I'm not trying to make it deeper than what it is, but for me, for me, this is what it was. It's like, I wanna be in the moment, I want to be in the moment. I don't want to be attached to the past version of myself, the parts that I lost, that I feel like I lost of myself, an era that I was in. I'm like, 2016, I was doing this. 2018, I was doing this. Everybody loved me. I was viral. I I don't want to be attached to a, a person, a relationship, a season, a version of me. I don't want to be obsessed with the future. What I'm, what I'm trying to reach, the goals, the, the end goal, the outcome of everything. I want to be in the now. What is happening right now? I want to be in this moment. I'm potting right now. I'm talking to my audience. I'm not anxious about what's going to happen tomorrow. And I'm not depressed about what already happened in the past. I am exactly where I need to be. And I want to live in the moment of where my feet are. So for me, shaving my hair lower... Number one, I was like, I want to do it now before I grow my hair out. Because when I grow my hair out, I don't want to shave it again. Then I was like, why not? Enjoy this journey of growing your hair out. Enjoy the journey. Stop being obsessed with the curls, the long hair. Enjoy the journey. What are you going to have to learn to grow your hair out to a healthy head of hair? Consistency, patience, discipline, scheduling, no procrastinate. What am I going to learn in this process? You know what I mean? And I've done it before. Me to grow out long, healthy hair, I had to be consistent with my trims. I had to do my regimen. I had to do my deep condition. I got to massage my scalp and stimulate the blood flow. I got to be patient in the ugly phase. Any girl or any person out there that has cut their hair and grown it back, there is a phase. There's a phase that's ugly. And you'd be like, you know what? Just shave it off again because I can't I can't go through this phase. And it's just like healing any other aspect. You know what? I'm going to just go back to my ex because I don't want to go through being alone. You know what? I'm going to just go back to that toxic relationship because I don't want to go through this phase of confusion and not knowing who I am and finding myself. I'm going to just go back to where it's comfortable. It's the same thing I was dealing with with shaving my head. I'm like, so What? So what? It is a journey. Enjoy the journey, Braylon. Have fun. Massage your scalp. Enjoy the short hair. Watch it grow. Watch yourself be consistent and have discipline and 
enjoy the journey of the now and not be so obsessed with the end goal. So I think me cutting my hair, I had that revelation of cutting it shorter. And I'm like, I almost want to grow it out to long, beautiful curls and wear that for like a year or two and then shave it again. So I I don't want to be attached to anything in this season. Not a person, not my hair, not my career, not my, not my, nothing but God and my purpose. And even that, if God decides to pivot my purpose and what he's called me to do, I don't want to be attached to, to that so much that it's hard for me to pivot. I don't want to be attached to anything. And I think that's what gets us... For, for me, is what can cause depression and anxiety and you're attached to this idea of this relationship. Dang, I thought that friendship was forever. Dang, I thought that was my husband. Oh my God, I thought that business was going to be the business to take me out of here. You're attached to this idea you had of what you thought was going to be. It ain't that. I am trying to practice the art of detachment, whether it's friends a man, the old version of me, parts of me that I lost. God, I wish I was like this. I wish I was still like this. You're not like that no more. So the parts that you lost, you can get those back in this season. Focus on getting those parts, those parts of you back. And certain parts you need to change so you don't get to this point again. All that people pleasing, all that lack of discipline, all that inconsistency, all that rushing. No. The art of detachment. I don't want to be attached to the future idea I have because God can change that at any time. I want to make sure my will is aligned with his. Sometimes we have these ideas of what the future should look like. It ain't going to be that. If there is a pivot or a change or something else that God drops in my spirit and the vision changes, I don't want to be attached to this idea I had of what my life would look like. If I was attached to, right, I'm 34. I thought I would have been a mom by 25, married, a few kids, white picket fence. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. I wasn't a mom at 25. Oh my gosh. A mother raising a little girl or a little boy in this world with the mindset I had at 25, a wife at 25. Lord have mercy. Thank you, God, that you have, allowed me to perfect who you've called me to be. I'm getting better with time. I'm growing. I'm healing. I'm choosing to face the trauma, face myself, face the truth, and heal all these parts of me that whoever gets this version of me at 34, maybe I find my husband at 35. He finds me at 36. Whatever version the next man gets is going to be the best version of myself thus far. Thank you, God, that you held me and perfected me to prepare me to be the best wife I could be. Thank you, God, that I wasn't a mother at 25 and whoever my beautiful children are that are already in my womb that are going to be my seeds on this earth. Thank you, God, that I didn't birth those kids at 25. Thank you, God, they're going to get the best version of a mother that I could possibly be in that season. So I said that to say I'm not attached to this idea of what I thought my life would look like at 34. It's okay. It's okay. Let go of detachment. If you can't cut your hair, what what you scared of? And maybe for you, it's not cutting your hair. There's other things that I haven't done yet, right? That I'm probably like, okay, one day I want to skydive. It's it's a big fear. It's scary. It's it's uh, one day I'm like, I'm going to force myself to do it. Not because I want to do it, because I'm so scared to do it that I need to do it. I need to face those fears. What is it for you? What are you so attached to that if it was gone tomorrow, your life would crumble? That if you let it go today, you would be depressed. What is that? And start letting go of certain things and and start to be able to flow with the way life goes. Life is going to move. Ups and downs, trials and tribulations. Stop being so attached to every season, to every job, to every person. Let it flow. Let it move in and out. Some people are for a, a moment. Some people are for a season. Some people are for a lifetime. If you're for this moment, you're for this moment. Maybe we just had a conversation or a moment in passing. You were for a moment. 
Are you for a season? A season can be two years. A season can be 20 years. A season can be 60 years. Are you for this season? Okay. When this season and this chapter is closed, let it go. I'm not attached to that. Are you for a lifetime? Cool. Let's ride this out for a lifetime. For a job. A job. Don't be so attached to it that if you lose it tomorrow, your life comes crumbling down and you can't pivot. Learn to pivot. And that's what I'm working on. 